Hello everyone, welcome to Convo Pro, your one-stop shop to unlock the secrets of truly masterful conversation. You know, meaningful conversation, it's like a beautifully choreographed dance. It's about connection, understanding, and leaving people feeling seen and heard. Today, we're diving deep into the art of conversation. I'll share essential tips to help you become a better conversationalist, transforming you from wallflower to captivating communicator. So, buckle up, get ready to take notes, and let's embark on this journey to unlock your full conversational potential together. You know, I've always said that true listening is a superpower. It's not just about hearing the words, but truly absorbing their meaning, the emotions behind them. When you actively listen, you're saying to the other person, you matter. Your thoughts and feelings are important to me. Maintain that warm, inviting eye contact like you're searching for their soul. And don't just nod along, really feel those nods. Let them be a physical manifestation of your understanding. And the magic ingredient? Follow-up questions. Ask those tell-me-more questions that show you're not just passively hearing, you're on a journey with them. Now, let's talk about questions, the key to unlocking the treasure chest of someone's mind, but not just any questions, we're talking about open-ended questions. You see, closed questions, those with a simple yes or no answer, they're like hitting a brick wall in a conversation. But open-ended questions, those that begin with how, why, or what, they're like opening a beautiful garden gate. They invite exploration, detailed responses, and those aha moments that spark truly engaging discussions. Imagine you're building a house. Could you imagine trying to build a house without a strong foundation? That's what it's like trying to have a meaningful conversation without rapport. Finding common ground, it's like laying the bricks for that foundation. Discover shared interests, hobbies, or experiences, those threads that weave your lives together. And you know what else builds trust? Mirroring body language, it's subtle but powerful. It says, we're on the same wavelength. And when the moment feels right, share a personal anecdote. Vulnerability begets vulnerability, my dears. Empathy, my friends, it's the ability to step outside the confines of our own experiences and truly see the world through another's eyes. It's about putting yourself in their shoes, feeling their joys and sorrows as if they were your own. Now this doesn't mean you have to agree with everything they say, but it does mean approaching the conversation with compassion and understanding. Validate their feelings, let them know you hear the emotions behind their words. Remember, a little empathy goes a long way in building bridges of connection. Knowledge, my friends, it's not just power, it's conversational fuel. The more you know, the more you have to talk about, the more connections you can make. Think of your mind as a garden. Every book you read, every documentary you watch, every conversation you have, it's like planting a new seed. And the more diverse your garden, the more beautiful and engaging your conversations will be. So stay curious, keep learning, and watch your conversational skills blossom. Have you ever been in a conversation where the other person seemed miles away, their eyes glazed over, their mind on a million other things? It's like talking to a brick wall, isn't it? In this age of constant distractions, staying present can be a challenge, but it's a skill worth mastering. Mindfulness, my dears, is the key. It's about quieting the mental chatter, putting your phone down, and truly being present in the moment. And when you're fully present, you can listen deeply, respond thoughtfully, and make the other person feel seen and heard. Let's be honest. Not all conversations are going to be easy breezy. Sometimes we have to navigate choppy waters, those difficult conversations that make our palms sweat and our hearts race. But remember, even in the midst of disagreement, we can still be respectful, we can still listen with an open heart, and we can still strive to find common ground. Stay calm, take deep breaths, and remember to choose your words carefully. Sometimes it's okay to agree to disagree, but let's do it with grace and understanding. We've covered several powerful tips today, from the art of active listening to the importance of empathy and even how to handle those tough conversations. Remember, becoming a better conversationalist takes practice. It's like learning a new dance. At first, the steps might feel awkward, you may stumble a bit, but with consistent effort, you'll find yourself gliding across the conversational dance floor with grace and confidence.